the intensity that we've missed with Dockage the last seven games of the season. So it's, it's, it's exciting. It's what everybody's reading about in the paper in the class today. So. Okay, he's uh, a lot of people, a lot of alumni, I guess, say, oh, we want somebody, you know, from within the family, somebody within who's your nation. Yeah. How would you respond to that by bringing in this uh, big name instead, I guess? Well, Dockage was not the guy to do it. He was the Indiana guy. Um, we need to have a guy that's got a big name that can prove himself. And honestly, there's not a lot of big name coaches out there with the IU bloodline that have done a lot that's been successful as the Bob Knight has been. So, Finding someone to replace that is pretty tough. Steve Alford's obviously not interested. He's happy being a Lobo. So I think it's more important to find the right type of character or person and look at Tom, Tom Izzo, what he's done with Michigan State, bring that type of intensity that IU with um, uh, Mr. Cream and the Okay, he's uh, some would say, some alumni, whatever, would say, oh, we should have somebody, you know, an alumnus, somebody from inside the family. How do you feel about that? Well, I think he's inside the Big Ten, and that's close enough. Um, you know, being assistant coach to Tom Izzo, can't go wrong. <laughs> uh, he knows the Big Ten. I think we need a quality person. Um, you know, there is some alum who would love to see Steve Alford come, but he said he doesn't want to be here right now, and he likes where he is. So I'm ready for some new blood, and I'm ready for some incredible blood, and I'm ready for some trustworthy blood, from what I hear our new coaches like that. And as far as age 42, you know, different opinions, oh, we should get a really young guy so we can stay here 30 years, or a really old guy who might only stay for, what, three or four or five, so how do you think about the, the middle ground, I guess? I, well, I'm 42, so it's a great age, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think, I think he is, right, right in the middle age-wise, again, he's come from a program where he was a seasoned veteran for several years, he didn't, you know, stay there two or three years and then hit the road, so to, to bring that kind of credibility and that kind of longevity here, you know, if he works out and he's a good fit here, he could be yeah. there. And he's, uh, I think he, start, he went with eight years to start on the contract, so it's definitely long term. So uh, how do you see his first year or two going? They might be a little rougher, I guess. You know what? I think it's all about recruiting those first couple of years. And uh, if he brings some good people in, I think those of us who've been alum for quite a while and those of us who've been fans for quite a while, we're just going to need to take a chill pill and be patient and see this program rebuild. And I think we can do it.